who gets to set the terms of, of, of where the movement stops? And what I'm saying is um, everyone has their, their own belief systems. And, and part of what I said before is that oftentimes, and, and you can tell when people are just making it up as they go along, they may not think so, but when Planned Parenthood sends out a message to John Legend and Chrissy Teigen after they had the, the unfortunate um, circumstance of, of her having a miscarriage, and they say, I'm paraphrasing, but um, we're sending our prayers out to John and Chrissy for the loss of their son. Their son. Now, if I'm trying to understand, okay, so even the biggest abortion provider understands that that's a life. If we find a single cell on Mars, we call that life. But when it comes to the abortion debate, it's a life if the mother wants the child. It's not a life if the mother does not. That is, that is not a, a logically reconcilable position. So it's either we have to agree that life has inherent value, regardless of the circumstances of conception, regardless of the, the location of a particular life, regardless of the gestational age of a particular child, or it has conditional value. And if we say it has conditional value, then everybody better be ready to talk about where their conditions start and end. I'll, I'll put it to you this way. You and I both know that black folk will come back to our people, right? I'm comfortable saying that. We would have a very different position on abortion if the Republicans in every state and a handful of large cities said, we're going to start a campaign to pay black women $15,000 to abort their babies. Very different. We would say, oh, man, they, they're trying to commit genocide. They're trying to kill us off. You wouldn't, have to, you wouldn't even have to go that far if they were promoting the proliferation of Planned Parenthood clinics, if it were Republicans promoting them. Correct. Somebody would remember what Margaret Sanger thought <laughs> about the proliferation of Negroes right. early in the life of the Planned Parenthood movement. Somebody would recall that, and they would paint the Republicans with a genocidal Exactly. Rush exactly. For yeah. encouraging the extirpation of black life. No, I, I I hear you I hear you loud and clear. And people don't know the numbers. People don't know do you happen to know the numbers? I mean the numbers are absolutely staggering in terms of the extent of the extirpation of black life. Okay, potential life. If you know, I don't want to get into an argument with people about whether a fertilized egg is a life or not. You just said it is. Some people will say it's not. I don't, I'm not trying to argue that point. Understood. Understood. I'm, I'm just saying that when you do the sums, the actual footprint of African American humanity within this country is substantially smaller than it otherwise would be mm. in virtue of the uh, vast extent of, uh, of abortion amongst African American people. And, you know, that's worth remarking, even if at the end of the day we were to decide that you know uh a woman has a right to choose or has a right to choose after a certain number of weeks or whatever mm -hmm. i mean before a certain number of weeks right, or, right, or whatever right, right. however we were to resolve that that question the overarching fact that the health of african-american society the robustness of it of the capacity to reproduce our being mm -hmm. into another generation and of course it invites the uh, reflection on what are the relational interactions between men and women on a daily basis in terms of their intimacy, mm -hmm. in terms of their connectivity, in terms of their feelings of responsibility to the next generation that are then reflected in these abortion statistics, these abortion statistics. Regardless of whether or not I thought Roe versus Wade was rightly or wrongly decided that's a profound reality of the African-American condition that ought to occasion deep reflection from our moral leadership about where we're going and what has become of, of our, of our uh, society. Yeah. So anyway, that's my speech. Yeah. Um, I, I, I yeah. mean, you, you asked some for some of the stats nationally, black women account for about 40, close to 40% of all abortions. Um, about 12% of the female population accounted right. for about 40% of all abortions. Right. And, and in New York City, the, the city with the largest black population, just because it's the largest city, 
2016, it was almost exactly equal, the number of live births and the number of induced abortions among black women in New York City. So you, if you were a baby at that point, you had a coin flip uh, chance of, of making it into the world. And 